I'm just gonna use, again, you should, all these drills you should already be familiar with, but again, you wanna kinda of mix it up because what happens is, if I'm just doing heaven six as my drill and kinda of chasing the person, at some point, they're probably, if they're able to defend enough of them or move out of the way, they're just gonna move back, move back. Eventually, they're gonna figure out what your pattern is. The more we can change our patterns around, you wanna make patterns into non-patterns and work outside the box. And the easy way of doing that, because everything is part of a pattern no matter what it is. Well, I'm just gonna do lots of jabs. Well, jabs is a part of a combo. I'm gonna do jab cross, I'm gonna do hook hook, then uppercut. Well, that's fine, but at some point, those become part of patterns, and even those can be patterns as, as collective. But the more variety we get, the more angles we hit differently, the more chambering position we, if I always do my drills from this position, there's only so much I can do from here. I can either go inside or I can go outside, up or down. After a while, there's patterns that kind of limit themselves within open chambers. So that I do drills closed chamber, there's only so many drills I can start from a left chamber close or a right chamber close. Then I go from a high ch uh, low chamber to a higher chamber. But again, there's only so much we can do, but the more we can mix up open chambers to cross chambers, higher or lows, the harder it is for the opponent to figure out what our offensive strategy is or even how we work our blocks. So I'm just gonna show you putting maybe like, I don't know, eight different combos together or more and doing them off of stationary targets to show you how it's gonna be hard for while Stance watching me, he might be able to figure out a couple of my patterns, but by the time he figures those out, I've done different patterns. So the more I confuse his eyes to what I'm doing, the harder it is for him to deep in when I'm in range. So I'm gonna get some of the targets in there. So I'll call them out while I'm doing them, but again, you're gonna add the speed. So slow motion, I'll start with maybe a basic cob cob. I go high line, he blocks my high lines. I go mid line, eventually he blocks my mid line. I go low line, those get blocked, so I cross it out. I do my cross chamber position instead of waiting to open it up. And I go in through my cross chambers, and I decide to chamber. Maybe I'll do the uh, heaven four, maybe I'll switch leads, heaven four from the opposite way. I do that, and I come back to the chamber, maybe I decide to do heaven six, right? Hitting my target. Then he gets used to that, so I transition to a high-low pattern, which is my standard six. Then he gets that, so I just go all low, either with the hand on top or hand on bottom. And then I change it to earth combo six, where I go low, high, low, low, high, low. Then I have him in a downward crotch position where I'm able to rise above him. And so I'll do my hell from this side, hell from that side. And even if he doesn't go down, if this is a knife or a stick, I'm scraping him whoosh, all the way down. I'm scraping him whoosh, all the way down. I'm scraping him all the way down. Or I'm starting from this side of him and I'm scraping across his body while I do that uh, Angle 12, angle 12, angle 12 into that heaven. Or I'm starting from unsheathing position, I might go angle 13 to 13 to 13, 13, 13, 13, and mix it up. And then I'm gonna look at him, but I'm gonna be distance away, and I'm just gonna try to come up with those combos. And I want him to kind of see, you know, if by the end of my combos, he can figure out what one I just did, right? And that's good for him to be predictable on the block. You know, I do it and he thinks in his head, oh, I didn't know what he was doing at first, but at the end I realized he didn't have it six. <sighs> and he may not have understood at the very beginning, but by the end he realized, oh, he just did a standard six pattern, right? Or, <sighs> oh, he did a, a earth six combo. <sighs> oh, he's doing a bunch of angle 12s, that must be the combination of the hell six, or he's doing a bunch of upward strikes, that could be the 13, which could be the, um, uh, what do you call it, the earth combo six, or we can do a low, high, low, right? Just go high, low, high, low, high, low, or whatever. So he knows if I'm doing earth combo six or standard six. And then the more he can figure those out quickly, the more he can say, okay, if he's doing the uprising six, that's, since it's coming up at an angle 13, six times, I can block down. If he's doing a lot of angle 12, doesn't matter if he's coming on the right angle or the left angle with the hell six, but if it's going down, I can do blocks from the upward position, right? Blocking as it comes down. If I'm doing everything across the horizon, right low, my block needs to be stick down. If he's doing everything up to the neckline, my defense needs to be stick up to deflect away from my body. So again, it's not for beginners, but once you learn combos, can you transition from open chamber to closed chamber combos quickly back and forth? And then while the person's doing it to you, how quickly does my brain figure out what your patterns are? If I can find a pattern or a pattern within a broken pattern, I can at least get an idea of where my stick should be. 
Should I be blocking this way or this way? Or should I just get out of the way until I figure it out? Should I be doing a lot with uh, how much of those will be blocked easily with a, um, an X block? A lot of them, right? But if I'm blocking here at angle 12 and he decides to do the angle 13, I'm gonna have to make some adjustments, right? If I see him start out low and I assume he's going to do a, um, what do you call it, an earth six, but he changes it to a, a earth combo six, I better be ready to transition my low blocks into my high blocks or vice versa. If I do a standard six, he sees that come in, it looks like the start of maybe a heaven, but he does a standard. So I gotta block that first one, but then all of a sudden it goes low, I gotta be able to transition my wrist down to block that low line for the standard six. So again, this will make no sense to a beginner, but if you're used to these drills, practice mixing them up like we just demonstrated.